Western sausage dogs for me. Morning, boys. Shrimps normally live by the sea, but she's so quick. <laughs> yeah, Nala, come. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> So, gingerbread verdict. Do you love them? Perfect amount of crunch, but also like chewy. chewy. Yeah, mm. it's so good. Yay, I'm so glad you like them. Do you use real ginger or ground ginger? Ground ginger? Yeah. I need to know what ground ginger because I really struggle with my ground ginger. I feel like it's like Tesco's or something. Really? Yeah, just their ground powder. Do me dirty. I'm going to need your recipe. Yeah. yeah I'm going to need another one to be honest. That's alright. It will be linked in the info box of the vlog. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. It's we vlogged making them yesterday. It's, like, it's a really good taste at the beginning. Mm. And then they have to taste even Yeah. So we put salt in them so that it it really comes through. It really picks up the ginger with Yeah. So good. Yeah. Right. So what are we doing? We're off to Dalesford now mm -hmm. to do Reformer Pilates. I've never done Reformer Pilates before. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hope so. Um, where is Bell? Yeah, where is Bell? Also, we polished off the bright gin that we brought last night. Wow. No wonder my head is banging today. That is actually one of the best gins I have ever, mm. if not the best. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, mm. we got very carried away. With yeah, that, so. really. Look, like, it is an empty bottle. There's like a drip left in it. That is <laughs> mad. The girls drinking it. <laughs> wow, that means we all drank a third of a bottle. Yeah. Whoa. So, I was not feeling in the best way this morning, and this explains why. <laughs> Fully explains why. And I, normally I am immune to gin, like you said, but I clearly drank, I drank a bit too much last night. My first ever Dales for trip. No, I'm so excited. So we're doing reformer Pilates here. I'm, I've never done that before. This is a day of firsts. I'm very excited. And then I think we're gonna have a little bit of lunch after, which will be lovely. It's so pretty here. We've really lucked out with the weather. It's gorge. I feel like when people come to the hospitals on days like this, that's when I can really convert them. Yes. <laughs> I mean, Josie, you don't have to tell me twice. I would move tomorrow if Ryan would.
ready for dinner. We're just waiting for the guys to join us. I don't look like I'm dressed for dinner at all, but it's the very warm coat that is uh, not making it look like I've actually made an effort, but I've just got a cute little ASOS top underneath, my leather and Bing trousers, and then some ASOS boots. But the warm coat is essential because it is so cold in the UK right now, and it's definitely colder up here than it is down in Brighton. So this coat is definitely needed. This is an old and other stories purchase, which I just couldn't be without. I love it. And then I've got my gloves at the ready as well because my hands get so cold at the moment and they lose the feeling in them. Yeah, all of the little fur babies are in here. And um, yeah, I'm excited to go for dinner at Farmhouse tonight. We haven't been to Farmhouse in ages, so I think that'll be really lovely. Um, I'll take you along with us and try and sneak some footage. Ryan looks lovely. Well, you can hear Victoria coming. <laughs> Where is your OOTD from? OOTN, should I say? Zara. Zara? Ooh. I thought it was H&M, weirdly. Oh, oh, no, it might be H&M, actually. <laughs> They're both H&M, aren't they? Okay. I remember seeing the pictures yeah. I love this combo. This um, polo neck underneath is gorgeous. And then the shirt over the... Oh. He came back from H&M with these and I was like, yes, this is great. And you've got Converse and yeah. some, some trousers. Yeah. Lovely. And what are you wearing? <laughs> She's wearing her Cotswolds green jumper because I had to have her matching, obviously. Oh my God, look at the Christmas tree. This is the most content Josie I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> so many doggies. <laughs> Josie's quote of the morning. If Dexy was a human, he'd be, no, yeah, he'd be Gerard, he'd be Gerard Butler. Butler. He'd be ripped in Harry. Let's insert a photo here of Gerard Butler and please hold it. <laughs> Hello, Gerard. Hello. 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 Josie is cutting bits of willow off of her tree for our wreath making session. It's not, you don't think it's going to work. Hey, Shimpy. Good morning from the Cotswolds. I don't think I've actually spoken to you today. I've just been helping Josie cut some bits off of her willow tree for our wreath making experience. Hostess with the mostess. I thought I'd show you today's OOTD. So I've got the same and other stories coat on because it is chilly. I've actually lost my gloves, which is not great. I can't keep track of anything at the moment, it's actually very bad. I am slightly concerned for myself. So, keeping an eye on a dog, because I keep losing her. Shrimps! Shrimpy? Shrimpy? Oh, hello baby! Hi! Oh, I love you so much! <laughs> it's the run that she does, and she's like, Mummy! Yeah, but you see me when they come out of a show. Yeah, she's just like... She, when she's chilling like this, she's her happiest. She's great. She's doing so 
she just loves exploring she's like a little fox anyway that's my outfit so i'm wearing my and other stories coat which is so snuggly and then underneath i have got a lily silk cashmere jumper and then my anine bing anine bing trousers uggs which i just had on because i was in the house and it's hard flooring so a little bit chilly sometimes um although much warmer than at my house because Josie and charlie have a much better heating system <laughs> but yeah i would normally be wearing my asos pointed toe boots um but yeah that is my otd just for wreath making comfy casual chill hey james do you want to say hi my sweet girl she's really enjoying exploring it's so cute we just catch her every so often and she looks at you and she's like a deer you know what how they stop and they're like nobody moves you're the goodest girl the goodest girl making to have some brunch in the dining room oh here's a chef oh thank you darling mm, this looks so good the boys have been making fresh orange juice for us avo toast yours is that one babe is it yeah you sure thank you for breakfast it's all that wait to hang this on my door thank you Josie oh, so did such a good job so, so sweet <laughs> Vix is looking gorgeous oh so full so fluffy very festive. yeah I love that very wild meant to be vlogging at home in this part of the vlog i was hoping to finish this vlog just after we got back from josie and charlie's and have it all be centered around like being in the cotswolds being on our little staycation with our friends but unfortunately when i came to edit the vlog i actually hadn't got enough footage from our stay in the cotswolds and i had to edit a lot down because there's lots of like um, there's so much sound because there's so many people sometimes talking in a room at one time you actually can't hear 
in the vlog like what is going on it's quite chaotic i'm literally just used to vlogging at home and there only being like one or two voices in the video and um yeah it was it was quite hard to vlog when you've got four four dogs and six people was it four dogs yeah it was a very chaotic edit oh no am i running out come on oh no you know you love something when so i edited it all yesterday and it came to about 19 minutes it's probably less now oh come on don't do this to me damn hang on i need to find my spf so yeah that didn't really go to plan but here we are i was also meant to vlog yesterday and take you to london with me it would have been probably a separate vlog but i had meetings and then after my meetings in the evening i was going to go and do some shopping and do some christmas shopping all of that kind of stuff in london i thought that would be really cute for us to do together and um yeah it started snowing on is it sunday yeah, Sunday it started snowing everywhere but where I live because my air is a bit weird and I just don't really get weather unless it's like sh severe winds and then I will get that because <laughs> by the sea. But yeah, no snow for me, but annoyingly all my trains were still affected by it. Literally no one could get in for the meetings, which was um, very, very sad. So I had to do them on Zoom, um, but it was good because it meant that I got a lot of editing done. So that was something that I probably would have been very stressed about had we actually been in London and been vlogging. That would have been very, very stressful. So nothing has really been going to plan. And that theme I feel like is continuing today. I hope it doesn't last the whole week. I had to move my nail appointment yesterday because I my nails just keep, they keep lifting. Um, it's an ongoing issue uh, because my hands, I wash my hands so much, I get them wet so much. I need to be wearing rubber gloves at all times. But my gels are just not lasting. I get to the last week, the third week, and they start really lifting. And then if I've got to wash my hair, it becomes very problematic. So the previous time I fully just ripped the gels off, which don't do that, it's really bad for your nails. Um, but this time I, had my acetone and I soaked them off whilst I was editing yesterday. Literally, I did one hand at a time so I could still work and soak. So my nail appointment has been moved forward to today. And I then thought, how great would it be if I could just get up early, go to town early, do my Christmas shopping in Brighton with you guys, then go to my nail appointment because I can't do it after. I overslept so badly this morning, so badly. That like rarely ever happens fully slept through the alarm don't even know how that is possible um like it's set but did it go off neither of us heard it i wake up and it is literally so late so i'll be lucky if i have time to get a coffee i will not be doing any christmas shopping today and i'm so sad about that so i'm also waiting to hear whether my dinner plans are going to be cancelled today literally nothing is going to plan and i feel like i said it to ryan yesterday i was like i just can't, like nothing is going right this week and I shouldn't have said that out loud because it feels like that is just continuing. So I'm going to shut up about it now, but that is what I'm working with. Sometimes you just have those days where things continually don't go right, but hopefully the next few vlogs won't be such a mismatch. I'm doing a full Armani look today because on Sunday, one of the reasons I didn't vlog was because I actually had a piece of content to do for Armani, but because of the scheduling, the product arrival, the general vlogmas craziness, I had a one day turnaround to complete this. So uh, all of my makeup is just Armani in this makeup bag right now because I haven't had a chance to switch it. And honestly, I am not mad about that. I love Armani makeup. It is just so fat, like the quality it is, incredible i said to ryan when i was editing the video i was like i'm gonna do my makeup like this all the time because it looks so great this contour as well is beautiful it's the neo nude uh a contour shade 21 oh, so nice so so nice it's like a liquid contour it's really beautiful like the shade is perfect i haven't got tan on currently and it's just the perfect shade for me in terms of like an actual contour more than a bronze it's pigmented but it's super lightweight like you put a bit on and you're like mm, that's not gonna go very far but it really does it just looks so natural in the interest of time i'm gonna speed the rest of this makeup up i will leave everything linked in the info box below for you guys but um yeah i need to crack on because i have half an hour until i need to leave the house and 
I still haven't decided what I'm gonna wear. Probably gonna be leggings and a jumper at this rate. <laughs> in shade 44 this is gorgeous look at that mm. i also have the shade 51 this is stunning i, I really want to do like an evening out all over smoky eye using this So a very quick outfit of the day, please excuse the mess behind me. I will clean it up when I am back. Um, but I've just thrown on my totem jumper. This knit is just, it is the best knit, like the best length for wearing, whether it's with leggings or trousers or literally anything. You can wear it with a skirt, it would look lovely. It is the best black knit that I have ever owned. Like the length is perfect, the thickness is perfect. It feels lovely. Like their jumpers are so, so worth the hype. And then I've got a Zara very creased grey coat. I'm not sure what's happened there because it's been hanging. But yeah, I love the Sarah coat. It's really, really beautiful. I haven't had a grey coat in a very, very long time, so I'm kind of getting used to it. But um, yeah, I really like it. And it's very kind of like thick, but oversized. So really good for if you're layering a knit underneath. Um, I've got my Chanel 22 bag, which is kind of interfering with all it's just adding to all the gray i'm not loving it but i don't really have time to switch bags or anything right now so we're just sticking with that i've then got a full bodysuit the skin one from net a -Porte. i've got that on underneath uh the jumper so um it looks like i'm just wearing leggings but it's a full bodysuit pray i don't need to pee today because it's going to be a nightmare and then these little asos booties which i think i'm gonna buy like a more sturdy version of them because please ignore my slippers and all the wires wow um i'm gonna buy um like a more uh well-made pair of these because i wear them so much i wear them all the time stuart wiseman actually do a little version of these so i'm thinking of getting those and this is the makeup way too heavy for a tuesday i shouldn't have added the brown I think it's a bit heavy. I had to go over with a foundation brush and just like tone every aspect of this makeup look down slightly. But yeah, cute little brown bronzy smoky eye, nude lip. This is the Armani Lip Power in the shade 102, which is gorgeous. Um, and then I'm just leaving my hair, I'm just leaving it. I washed it last night, so I can't be bothered to fight with the weather over whether it stays straight or whether it frizzes and goes curly i can't can't be bothered a little spritz of fragrance before i go this is joe malone vetiver and golden vanilla literally it is gorgeous mm. love it yeah.
time to get a hot drink. We've also got one for Ella. There's little flat white here. The smallest drink in the world. I don't get flat whites. They're weird to me. They're so small. What's the point? And I have gone for a some kind of mocha. Sounds fab. But anyway, I'm gonna stop vlogging now so that I can actually try and drink mine. It is so cold at the moment. It's actually hard for me to vlog. Like it's hard for me to look up. Like it's hurting my eyes. <laughs> I am not a winter girl. Oh my god, you guys. This is literally the most exciting thing. Their food is the best. On that note, I'm actually on my favourite little street in Brighton. It's just so quiet and so chill. It's never really that busy. There's always cool art to look at. I absolutely adore walking down here. And no one's ever here, so it's super chill. This shop in particular, it's giving me Ollivander's one shop in Harry Potter. Anyone else? Ooh, here's a girl. Oh my god, your are oh, no. oh my god, I bring a new coffee. It's a bit slow, I'm so sorry. Oh, bless you. Stunning. Ella is just the best. So I believe the base shade is called Milky by the gel bottle and then the tip shade is I think called Guest List. How do I describe it? Like a silver gold but with like bronze underneath. You can kind of see on my middle finger the warmth coming through from the bronze and it is just the best colour. Like so festive but still very neutral. Not too like it just looks super chic. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to be so sad when these nails have to come off. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Ella, you have smashed it as always. I will leave a link to her in the info box. She's fab. So I am just getting ready for my dinner guest this evening and we're going in with some of the Dalesford Kindling diffuser that Josie and Charlie very kindly gifted us when we stayed at their house. Please ignore my Sainsbury's food reminder in the background. Yeah, Josie and Charlie very kindly gifted this to us when we stayed at their house. It smells incredible. It smells like a log burning fire, a wood burning fire, whichever, however you wanna say it, it smells incredible. There we go, the living room is looking all cozy, ready for our guests this evening. Nala's in her little, H&M jumper. Don't you look gorgeous? Are you gorgeous? I think you're gorgeous. Coffee table looking super cute. This one's from Zara Home if anyone's wondering. Tree is looking gorgeous as always although we have a wonky star this year because a uh, little behind the scenes secret for you we actually ended up manhandling this a bit too much when we were filming the intro for this year's vlogmas and uh, now it's a bit ropey. A lot of the time now the star just does that <laughs> but fully <laughs> at a right angle. Stunning. My sofa.com chair also looking stunning. Very very happy with this room. For now we can have a nice big fireplace there at some point. I also might panel the walls. What do you guys think? What do we think? Let me know. Or maybe just do a big bit of panelling on this wall to add some texture because I don't want to put another piece of art there. But let me know what you guys think. Hello, it's me from the future. Just coming in to say bye because I have gone to upload today's video and realised that I have not said bye. And I don't know why, but I hate that. Um, but just to let you know, my friend came over. I had pizza. 
uh, and then I just slept. That was the end of that day. It was very boring. Apart from the pizza, I had pizza and watched Home Alone. It was great. So that is it from me. Just wanted to come in and say bye. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Love you. Bye.